tastes really, really good. Let's try this one. This is the Isan Nut. Today, we went for a family lunch at the highly rated Thai town in Melbourne CBD. We'll be tasting the food and giving our honest ratings so you can decide whether to go there and try it for yourself. It's supposed to be one of the most traditional Thai food places to eat, so we were all very excited to give it a go. The chefs and staff looked very focused and hard at work in the kitchen. It was cool how you could see the cooking process firsthand. Mum said this was a mini version of what Thai street food markets used to look like back in the good old days. The pestle and mortar is commonly used in Thai cooking for mashing up different kinds of ingredients. Seeing this brings back distant memories of me grinding hot chilies for hours on the local street corner. The decor consisted of exquisite art pieces, posters and memorabilia from various time periods in Thai history. Even the light shades were handcrafted from bamboo. The ordering process was very efficient. Just scan the QR code and order from the menu. The less human interaction, the better. The hot Isan sticky rice arrived in a plastic Ziploc bag, which I found both wasteful and unhealthy. It was, however, kind of accurate to Southeast Asian cultures. You know that feeling after you've finished eating a disappointing meal and you still got to pay for that expensive bill which just kind of makes it all worse? As a way of mitigating this, I decided to head up and pay before the food had arrived, so we could quickly leave if we were disappointed, and because of our limited memory and attention spans in this day and age, I could almost trick myself into thinking the meal was actually free. <laughs> Thank you. The tax. Work lunch. They had this interesting white powder just out on display for anyone to pick up at random. Let's go taste some food. อร่อยน้ำจิ้มนี่ก็คือเหมือนน้ำจิ้มไก่ทั่วๆไปมีไข่นกกระทาอร่อยอร่อยใช้ได้เลยใช้ได้เลยโอเคเดี๋ยวลองชิมอันนี้ไส้กรอกอีสานนะจากไทยทาวเมลเบิร์น okay, It's exactly like um, eat in Thailand in Isan อร่อยอันนี้ไส้กรอกรสชาติแบบเดียวกันกับไส้กรอกอีสานอร่อยมากกินกับข้าวเหนียว we don't actually know what this is. We did order a Thai tea before, but then we cancelled it and changed it for a coconut. 
so maybe they still brought it. Let's see. I think it's got a subtle background flavor of the Thai tea that I had in, um, that I used to have in Thailand. So I think it might be Thai tea, just with a bunch of ice. Um, it's really good. All right, so this is like a Thai style iced coffee. Now, typically in Southeast Asian cultures, a lot of these kinds of drinks tend to be really, really sweet. So I am expecting it to be quite sweet. I had it traditional. I didn't ask for less sugar or anything like that. So let's give it a bit of a burl and see how it goes. Look, I do like sweetness. It's not as sweet as what I thought and the coffee flavor isn't as strong as what I thought it would be. Overall, it is nice. I probably would order it again. The only thing I'd probably want a little bit more of is the actual coffee flavors to be just a little bit stronger. But in terms of the sweetness, as I mentioned, it's definitely not too oversweet. So I think if you're someone that just wants to try something sweet out, then it's probably gonna be okay. It's kind of, it's not too much for me, but it probably still is a lot of sugar inside there, but it's definitely a nice drink. Very refreshing. Mm. Okay, so now we are onto the Pad Si Yu, vegan with tofu veg. Let's give it a taste. So Pad Si Yu is one of my favorite, possibly my favorite Thai noodle dish uh, of all time, I'd say definitely more than Pad Thai. So my standards are going to be quite high. We'll try and get a little bit of all the ingredients on there, a bit of the carrot. It does seem to have all the traditional ingredients, got the carrot, got the tofu a bit of the green veg in there as well, and a bit of the cabbage too, and uh, green beans too. Put it down the gob. It is very nice. To be honest, it's actually a lot better than I expected. I did actually expect it to be a bit more plain in flavor, but they've actually gone into the effort to, I think, pay a bit of closer attention to the flavors going into it. It's really nice and saucy, which is good. The noodle consistency is quite accurate to what I would expect of like a traditional pad CU. Not too hard, but also not too soft. Just kind of like a right level of tenderness and how they've cooked it. The veggies taste really nice as well. And overall the dish comes together really, really well. And I'd say, yeah, definitely would get this again 100%. And I definitely rate it really highly with possibly one of the best pad CUs I've actually ever had. Really nice. Because they bring it in because I'm worried because they bring yeah, but they're not going to kick you out at three, like, you can, they just won't let anyone else in. Yeah. All right, so moving on to the Massaman curry here, typically done with beef. We have ordered this one without beef. We've ordered it with tofu, I believe, so tofu and potato. It's got, I think, some cabbage in there, some mushrooms, some peanuts, some carrot as well. Looks really, really nice, so let's get into it and give it a try. I was actually expecting a little bit more flavor in the Masaman. It is nice, but I really I like strong flavors. Masaman sometimes has been strong enough to satisfy me. In this case, it's quite mild, but yeah, not everybody's the same. Some people like the mild flavors and the, you know, the subtle textures. So this is like a Thai seafood chili, my mother was saying, okay? So Thai seafood chili. So typically oysters are not Thai traditionally, okay? Even though you can get good oysters in Thailand, although kind of like what makes it Thai is the things that are going onto it. So again, Thai seafood chili, gonna whack that on. Mum says it's really spicy, but let's see if I can tolerate it. All right, so this is the dried onions and garlic, I believe. So we're gonna whack a fair amount of that on, okay? And this is some kind of, I don't know what this sauce is, maybe like a hoisin cranberry sauce. I got no idea, but we'll find out in a mo. Whack, whack that on as well, okay. It's also very important to put a bit of lemon on. I actually think there's probably not enough lemon that they've actually given us. And most of it's actually just getting spilled out the bloody side, so that's not great. And I guess, I don't know if this salad's meant to go on, but I'm just gonna chuck that on. Okay, let's get ready, guys. <laughs> what happened? The chili. Chili. The chili. What 
So I think I took a deep breath in through my mouth and I breathed in some of the chili. Oh, I don't want that. <laughs> I don't want it. When life gives you a setback, just, you know, just keep going. I forget that sometimes, but this is just a perfect analogy of that. I'm trying to put down this oyster. I won't let it defeat me. Let's go. So the flavors do work very well together. The crunchiness of the onion, the spiciness of the chili, the sweetness of that particular sauce. I'm not sure what the sauce is called, but it's very good. All three items, and that's rare, do work very well together. This salad situation, I think that's kind of like a side thing that you have later. That, I'm pretty sure that doesn't go on the actual oyster itself. Overall, really happy. My standards for oysters are really high. I don't often have oysters, but when I do the standards are high and might have high expectations, but taste really, really good. They taste fresh. The addition of lemon is really, really good as well. And yeah, what can I say? I'd order it again. I rate it really highly and uh, I would definitely recommend it. Great comparison. อันนี้เป็นครั้งแรกนะที่สั่งนมเย็นที่เมลเบิร์นไม่เคยกินปกติที่เมืองไทยอาจจะกินแล้วลองชิมดูว่าจะเหมือนกันหรือเปล่าโ
and that's essentially better for our YouTube channel. Comment as well and say hi and we'll get back to you as well as subscribe and turn the notification bells on if you do want to see us again. Take care.